Lactic acid, ethyl alcohol. How are these compounds produced through anaerobic respiration? Hello, disciples. I am Mam Christine Ragos, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to discuss how anaerobic respiration occurs. We will describe the two main types of fermentation under anaerobic respiration. Furthermore, we are going to show products that are produced through anaerobic respiration. Finally, we will recognize the significance of anaerobic respiration as a natural process among most living organisms. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah moment. Remember that respiration is the process by which all organisms obtain energy from organic substances such as sucrose or other sugars, starch, lipids, and proteins in aerobic or anaerobic conditions. There are two types of respiration, the aerobic respiration which has been discussed in a previous episode and the anaerobic respiration which will be the focus of our discussion. Organisms which do not have the needed oxygen to carry out metabolic activities have developed ways to generate adenosine triphosphate or ATP using other organic or inorganic molecules. This process is called anaerobic respiration. The two main types of anaerobic respiration are alcohol fermentation and lactic acid fermentation. This is a packet of yeast. Yeast is a single-celled fungus that is used in baking and production of alcoholic beverages. Let us use this yeast so that we can observe how alcoholic fermentation occurs. The materials that we will be using are kneading pan, mixing bowl, warm water, sugar, yeast, oil, and flour. In a bowl, we will mix together 1 teaspoon of yeast, 1 third cup warm water, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Then we will add 1 teaspoon of oil and 1 cup of flour. Knead the mixture for 10 to 15 minutes and put it in a container. Let it rest until it doubles in size. Let us look closely at how alcoholic fermentation occurs inside the yeast cell. Alcoholic fermentation is the pathway yeast cells follow if oxygen is not present in the environment. It occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. The glucose from the flour is converted to pyruvic acid through the process of glycolysis. 
during glycolysis, glucose, a 6-carbon sugar molecule, has added energy to it from two ATP molecules. Adding this energy makes some of the bonds of the glucose molecule unstable, and the glucose molecule is more easily broken down. After passing through several more enzyme-controlled reactions, the 6-carbon glucose is broken down to two 3-carbon molecules called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, also known as PGA or phosphoglyceraldehyde, which undergo additional reactions to form pyruvic acid. During the process of glycolysis, some hydrogens and their electrons are removed from the organic molecules being processed and picked up by the electron transfer molecule nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide to form nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide hydrogen or NADH. Enough hydrogens are released during glycolysis to form 2 NADH. There is a net gain of 2 ATPs from the glycolytic pathway because 2 ATP molecules were used to start the reaction and 4 were produced. The pyruvic acid then enters the anaerobic respiration alcohol fermentation pathway. Through this pathway, pyruvic acid gets converted to ethanol and carbon dioxide. Ah! In the production of bread, carbon dioxide is important as it gets trapped in the dough and makes it rise, resulting to a leavened bread. Without this process, we get an unleavened bread. The ethanol, however, gets evaporated during the baking process. Meanwhile, ethanol produced by the yeast cells is the main product used in the brewing industry. Carbon dioxide and alcohol are both found in champagnes, beer, and other sparkling wines. The alcohol accumulates and sparkling or bubbly beverages are produced due to the carbon dioxide in the bottle. The second type of anaerobic respiration is lactic acid fermentation. Achara is a local delicacy made from pickled green papaya, served as a side dish and is produced through lactic acid fermentation. Let us look closely at how this process occurs inside the cell of the bacteria that naturally grows in this acidic environment. Similar with alcohol fermentation, lactic acid fermentation begins with glycolysis. Pyruvic acid from glycolysis is reduced directly to lactic acid as an end product by NADH without the release of carbon dioxide. The same with alcohol fermentation, the net profit is again only 2 ATPs per glucose. However, it differs from alcohol fermentation because the end product does not include carbon dioxide. Ah! The lactic acid produced by certain bacteria during lactic acid fermentation is used to create cultured sour cream, yogurt, cheese, sauerkraut, and kimchi. Here in the Philippines, particularly in Tayaba City, an example of a product produced through lactic acid fermentation is the achara. Understanding how alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation occur helps us realize that these natural biological processes provide us with different products that are beneficial to mankind. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we discussed about the concepts of anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is the process in which ATP is generated using other organic or inorganic molecules without the need of oxygen. Its two main types are alcohol fermentation 
and lactic acid fermentation. Alcoholic fermentation occurs when pyruvic acid is converted to ethanol and carbon dioxide. For lactic acid fermentation, pyruvic acid gets converted into lactic acid by the transfer of electrons removed from the original glucose without the release of carbon dioxide. Examples of products produced through alcohol fermentation include leavened bread, champagnes, beer, and other sparkling wines. Meanwhile, products produced through lactic acid fermentation include cultured sour cream, yogurt, cheese, kimchi, and achara. Understanding how alcoholic fermentation and lactic acid fermentation occur helps us realize that these natural biological processes provide us with different products that are beneficial to mankind. Ah! That's all for today, disciples. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another AH moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Paladjans, SciType Portal. Bye!